phenytoin phenytoxin phenytoin is the drugs that are used in the management of epilepsy the therapeutic range of phenytoin is 10 microgram per dl to 20 microgram per dl and it is very important to maintain the therapeutic range of phenytoin if the therapeutic range of phenytoin goes up above the 20 microgram per dl the patient may experience some adverse effect that include ataxia gait abnormality hand tremor and the slurred speech we can say patient can't talk and patient can't walk so we can say phenytoxic other adverse effect includes suicidal ideation skin rash we can say stevens johnson syndrome and one adverse effect is related with the infusion rate if the phenytoin infusion rate is more than 50 mg per minute the bradycardia and hypotension in reported so it is very important to maintain the infusion rate to avoid the cardiovascular risk factors another adverse effect of phenytoin includes gingival hyperplasia overgrowth of gum tissue around the teeth that may leads to bleed if there is gingival hyperplasia or bleeding from the gum no need to worry and don't stop the drug because abrupt withdrawal of the phenytoin may leads to uncontrolled seizure so how we can manage the gingival hyperplasia dental hygiene is very important and we can recommend the patient to use soft toothbrush there is drug drug interaction between the phenytoin and the valproic acid valproic acid is also most commonly drug in the management of epilepsy in some cases the patient may take two drugs phenytoin and valproic acid at the same time but what is the characteristic of valproic acid valproic acid is enzyme inhibitor it inhibits the metabolism of phenytoin and steady state concentration of the phenytoin in the blood goes above 20 microgram per dl that may lead to the adverse effect so avoid the drug simultaneously at the same time in the patient of epilepsy that is phenytoin and valproic acid another interaction with the oral contraceptives if the women on oral contraceptive pill she may get accidental pregnancy why because phenytoin is enzyme inducer and if the phenytoin is enzyme inducer it increases the metabolism of oral contraceptive pill high metabolism high excretion and the steady state concentration or therapeutic range of the oral contraceptive will not be achieved that may leads to the accidental pregnancy so we can say phenytoin deactivates the pill oral contraceptive pill so what is your suggestion in this regard the woman should use intrauterine device intrauterine device as a alternate contraception method phenytoin is a pregnancy category d phenytoin is pregnancy category d so there is a risk factor reported adverse effect or abnormal growth in the fetus 
if the phenytoin used during pregnancy that may leads to the mental and physical birth defects and this mental and physical birth defect is called as fatal hydantoin syndrome what happened in fatal hydantoin syndrome there is decrease in prothrombin in the blood and that may leads to increase in bleeding so generally if the pregnant woman and on phenytoin it is recommended to use vitamin k supplementation for one month before the birth sodium efflux and the sodium influx the mechanism of action of phenytoin it includes two terms sodium efflux and sodium influx remember the phenytoin increases the sodium efflux out of the cell and phenytoin we can say decreases the sodium influx entry of the sodium ion into the cell it may leads to the decrease the sodium ion concentration in the cell membrane and that stabilizes the neuronal membrane so this is about the phenytoin or we can say phenytoxic thank you very much